Welcome back guys to Smartherd. Now in this video I will show you how you can run your Android application on your real Android device having the version 4.2 and above. Now the problem arises from the 4.2.1 and 4.2.2 onwards. In such Android versions the developers option is not available previously. So you have to first enable the developer option which is having some different process than what we saw before in Android 4.1.2 and below versions. Before running your application on your real Android device, you have to install your Android device USB driver. So suppose you are having a Samsung phone, so simply type Samsung USB driver. Fine. Now you can go to any of the links, you can find the driver in many websites. I will go for the first link. Now in this website, now in this website at the downside you can watch all the smartphone model name. Now just select your model name and hit on download. Fine. Now this is for Samsung. Now if you are having LG or HTC then respectively type your model name. LG USB driver hit enter. Now again you can download your USB driver from many of the websites. I will go for the first one. Now here again you can find all the devices. LG Escape, LG Connect, LG Nexus. You can find all the options right here. Just select your model and hit on download. So after downloading just install your USB driver in your PC. Now if you are having HTC phone then respectively type HTC USB driver. Fine. Now after installing you have to enable the developer option in your device. For that for this purpose, simply open your settings option in your Android device. Now go to the security option. Now inside the security option, make sure you have checked this unknown sources. Allow installation of apps from the sources other than the Play Store. Just make sure this checkbox is checked. Fine. Now next. Now in the latest Android versions in your device, this developer option at the bottom is not available. In my device it is showing guys just because I have activated it. Now do one thing, now do one thing, click on the about device at the bottom. Now as soon as the about device is opened, now please go at the downside. At the below you will find a build number. Whatever the build number of your device is, what we are gonna do, we are going to continuously click this build number option at least 7 times. Now guys here it is showing no need developer mode has already been enabled. Now why it is showing just because in my device the developer mode has already been enabled. So if you click the 7 times of more than 7 times continuously then it is going to show developer mode has been enabled. Now please go back. Now here you can find your developer option has been enabled and you will be able to see this developer option right in front of you above this about device option. Now please click open this developer option and inside the developer option make sure this developer option is switched on and this stay awake this checkbox is checked this USB debugging allow mock locations these two are also checked fine. Now you are good to go. Now next go to your Eclipse. Now inside the Android Eclipse just click on this run project. After this your device will be visible in front of you. Now this is your device that is being showed here. Now if your phone is not visible here then it simply shows that your phone's USB driver you have not installed it properly. So please install your USB driver properly and then check out again. Then hit OK and you are good to go. Your app is going to run in your real Android devices. So thanks for watching. Have a good day.